Hello, this week was such a profound week. So much packed into one. I'm Artika Faruqi. Last week has been just exhilarating for cinema lovers in India. Two of our original stuff made it to the Oscars. Guneet Monga and Kartiki Gonzalez made India proud at the 95th Academy Awards after they bagged an Oscar for the Elephant Whisperers in the Best Documentary Short Film category. And this was Guneet's second Oscar. And of course, Raja Mauli's Natu Natu is something the craziest perfectionists are also watching in rapt admiration. Ah, the future belongs to Indians. And to kickstart this future, Let's begin now showing with the highlights. Mrs. Chatterjee vs. Norway is a hyper-emotional human drama, not for the weak-hearted. Zwigato is Nanita Das's directorial with a clear intention to make us feel more sensitively about the lesser privilege to create a better society. A tete-a-tete -tete with Rani Mukherjee on her views on motherhood, cinema and passion for work. And Pathan director Siddharth Anand talks about the film that changed his life. Ashima Chibber's Mrs. Chatterjee vs. Norway is a true story and a heartbreaking saga of a woman who moves two countries to get back the custody of her children from the government agency in Norway that seeks to ensure good upbringing of children in their country, whether they belong to the native Norwegians or the immigrants. Rani Mukherjee is the heart and soul of the film. She headlines the character so well that she has now become synonymous with the title. Those outbursts of emotion fight against the government's internal discord with her own husband who was often abusive, pleading to the authorities in broken English, her desperate pleas to any or all officers who seek to keep her children away from her, her emotional pleas in Bengali, all made the film rooted so well in this genre. From the beginning till the end, be prepared for an even tone of emotions that's melancholic and sad. Right in the beginning, director Ashima Chibber jumps into the narrative without any wasting of time. It happens later that we get to know the backstory. The viewer is sucked into the ordeal of the protagonist who is outwardly gullible, but internally extremely resolute and determined. So much that she risks her repetition of being a mentally sane person too. This film belongs to Rani. The production design is nice. You see the country very well. The lack of sunlight as this side of the planet is mostly cold and somber. Long days and small nights add to a strange melancholy, the sadness. The camera is sharp, adding different color tones to different moods in the film. Music by Amit Trivedi is moving and overall it's a very cathartic experience. All the performances are genuinely good. There are reports that Norwegian side was not consulted while making the film, so one cannot verify the authenticity of all the events in the film. But if the film uses the lens of a depressed mother who fought for many years for the kids' custody and if that were the axis of the film, then I must say it's a very well-made film. There are arguments that have been put through the character of a lawyer played very well by Jim Saab about the disparity between the handling of children in the two countries. One could see why feeding children by hands can be such a shocking thing for Europeans. Also, sleeping in the same bed as them, the husband not partaking in the household responsibilities is such a big and a critical issue for Europeans. The debates were enriching. In all, I felt very emotional about the narrative. It's a bond that mothers can understand very well. If you like human dramas, you will love the film. And now, Zvigato. The lockdown made us look at our migrant workers in a very different way. Nandita Das takes a leap forward and draws our attention to the gig economy that employs lakhs of workers, irrespective of their educational qualification, but puts immense physical and psychological pressures on them. While watching the film, which is devoid of any drama, in-your-face messaging, emotional appeals for the poor, or any scenes of domestic violence in a household which is hard-pressed for money, I felt nice to take a break from a dramatic world outside and someone tell me that all may not be well, but it will be well if we keep trying. <laughs> 
The film harps on optimism while showing you the reality of the day-to-day -day life. Read up on Stockdale Syndrome. It teaches you the art to survive in a difficult or even a life-threatening situation. Nadita's film carefully touches upon the various social discrimination faced by the working class without being preachy or making a political commentary. The religious discrimination, the humiliation subtle or in your face faced by them, the women who cannot be open about their dreams as who will take care of the elderly at home and the kitchen and the kids as if they were all just hers to take care for. Religious biases, social discrimination such as not taking the residents lifts, these scenes stay with you long after the film ends. Showing the impact of good writing and performances. The writing is well supported by actors Kapil Sharma and Shahana Goswami whose eyes in all those close frames show dreams as well as hopelessness fears as well as ambitions. Kapil lets go of his charming humoristic side for the film to play a serious struggling delivery man. Nandita ensures to give him a couple of lines though to remind you of this on-screen humorous image of his. The film is moving while steering clear of all Bollywood lingos or treatments. The cinematography and the color palette is also too realistic and I was reminded of Gautam Ghosh's films that talk about migrants. The end is beautiful with an illustration of these workers' life and being dependent on your stars and the small incentives and the meager 10 rupee incentive that they get with a selfie with the customer. On a lazy afternoon, to pause your hectic and pretentious life, Zwigato may serve to be a soothing medicine for relief. Rani Mukherjee, with over two decades in the movies, is synonymous with high-caliber performances, women-oriented roles, commercial success, as well as long-lasting impact on the viewers. She joins me at Yashraj Studios to discuss motherhood, life of an actor, and passion for cinema. We've had a lot of good filmmakers. Mehboob Khan made Mother India. Hey Mama, Sita and Geeta made a very tough girl. She was made a world over such films. Chal Baz. Chal Baz. World over such films made which got Oscar, Pamadaur, Bafta was awarded. La Mizraab, it's a beautiful film written on a book by yes. Hugo Victor. People are doing good work through cinema. Cinema is good. India, there is a lot of good work in India. There is a lot of good work in India. There is a lot of good work in India. पूरी फैमिली जाएगी पिक्चर ऐसी हो जो सब को पसंद आए व्हाट डू यू थिंक सिनेमा का पर्पस क्या है सिनेमा जो माध्यम है मेरे हिसाब से वो एंटरटेनमेंट का माध्यम है और एंटरटेनमेंट के थ्रू ही हम जो हम कहानियां लेकर आते हैं हमें वो कहानियां एंटरटेनमेंट के माध्यम से बोलनी चाहिए क्योंकि कोई भी चीज अगर हम सिर्फ एक भाषण की तरह बोले या हमारी मतलब लेक्चर की तरह बोले तो लोग थक जाएंगे या लोग बोर हो जाते हैं लेकिन उसी चीज को अगर हम इंटरेस्टिंग स्क्रीनप्ले स्क्रिप्ट डायलॉग्स इंटरेस्टिंग फिल्म जॉनर के साथ अगर बोले तो वही फिल्म बहुत मतलब मजेदार होती है और आज जिस तरह की फिल्में चल रही है कंटेंट बेस सिनेमा आई थिंक ये दर्शकों का आई थिंक आई वुड से ट्रायम्फ है कि वो इस तरह के फिल्में हिट कर रहे हैं और फिल्म मेकर्स को और इंस्पायर कर रहे हैं कि वो इसी तरह की फिल्म बनाएं आप 18 या 19 की थी जब आप फिल्मों में आ गईं 17 साल 17 साल की तो आप कोई तो एक ऐसी फिल्म होगी जिसमें औरत बहुत मजबूत थी जिसका असर आपके दिमाग पे बहुत हुआ होगा I think बेटा एक फिल्म आई थी जिसमें माधुरी जी का रोल काफी मतलब मजेदार था और उस समय that was one of the films which created quite a I would say शोर मतलब मचाया था सास बहू की लड़ाई एक वहीं से शुरू हुई थी नहीं और एक strong एक जो बहू का एक किरदार उन्होंने निभाया था वो बहुत अच्छा था वो बहुत ही inspiring था वो जमाना तो चला गया कि जब बात बात पे जंग हो जाया करती थी और आपको तलवार बाजी आनी चाहिए लड़कियों को दिमाग से लड़ाई लड़नी है, दिल से लड़नी है, जुबान से लड़नी है। जुबान किस तरह यूज़ करनी है, कोई डिस्कशन किस तरह करना है, कोई आर्गुमेंट किस तरह जीतना है, ये सिखाया नहीं जाता, ना बच्चों को, खास और से लड़कियों को। I think for me, most probably, I am very happy and inspired from the time Adira is is born because she gave birth to me as a mother. तो एक माँ बनने का जो एक जो एक खुशी होती है, जो एक फीलिंग है, वो जितने अभी माये बैठी हैं और आपका शो देख रही हैं, वो समझ में समझ में आएगी ये बात कि ये फीलिंग ना 
आप डिस्क्राइब नहीं कर सकते एक जो एक इट फील्स लाइक अ ब्लेसिंग बिकॉज इट्स एक्चुअली लाइक अ मेरिकल फॉर यू फॉर यू टू कैरी अमन बींग इन योर स्टमक फॉर नाइन मंथ एंड एक्चुअली दैट चाइल्ड कम्स आउट पर्सन ऑफ इज ओन यू नो इट्स जस्ट अमेजिंग शी हैज मेड मी अ डिफरेंट ह्यूमन बींग सो आई थिंक बींग अ मदर इज आई थिंक वन ऑफ द मोस्ट वंडरफुल थिंग्स दैट यू कैन एक्सपीरियंस इन अ लाइफ टाइम Correct. Which I'm very happy hmm. that only we women can experience. Yeah, men can experience. Yeah, happy about it. आप से बात करके बहुत अच्छा लगा तिका, because uh, uh, I hardly meet journalists who also write poems, so hmm. it's wonderful. Heading for a short break, but you know our sister channel CNBC TV 18 and its managing editor Shireen Bhan has started a brilliant initiative called Future Female Forward, where it was a marathon event of conversations, discussions about the future, and the future is female. From the erstwhile presidents of FICI to heads of institutions, banks, women from defence forces, everyone was there. I performed my lyrical poetry with the jazz guitarist on stage, and the feminine energy was so inspiring. with the men cheering in of course the future belongs to equality with a special kind focus on women ae jinu pasand ladki apne shano pe suraj rakh hame ilm ki roshni mein nahana hai dil na tootne de haar na maan abhi ummeed se to sara zamana hai pick up your books sharpen your pencils as they are your shining armor in life your tale shall be written on the pages you read choose learning and knowledge not struggle and strife mehenge libas keemti zewar unchi sandal mukhaton ke piche ke malal pehchan na paoge kamyab aurtein kuch is ada se muskurati hain ki unke dil ka asal hal kabhi jaan na paoge अखबारों में क्यों छपे हर दिन तेरी वीरानी जिसम लहजा ही नहीं रूह को निखरना होगा किवाड़ों के पीछे से आ सड़कों पे निकल तारीख की बदरंग साजिशों से लड़ना होगा औरतों को खिलने के लिए एक खास मौसम चाहिए बेखौफ सड़कें आसान रिश्ते अच्छे दोस्त ये मिल जाए तो खुशियां दिल से आ लगेगी जो मैं दफ्तर देखू तुम भी घर देखना मुझको तेरी दुआ लगेगी तुझको मेरी दुआ लगेगी थैंक यू मूविंग इन टू द ब्रेक बट डू रिमेंबर दो अक्टूबर और तीन अक्टूबर को विजय सलगांवकर के परिवार के साथ जो हुआ वो तो आप जानते हैं लेकिन 25 मार्च को जो होने वाला है वो सिर्फ विजय सलगांवकर ही जानता है देखिए महामूवी दृश्यम टू का वर्ल्ड टीवी प्रेमिया पच्चीस मार्च रात आठ बजे सिर्फ कलर सिनेप्लेक्स पर Welcome back to Now Showing. I'm Atika Faruqi. Pathan has emerged as the highest-grossing Hindi film of all time. Its director Siddharth Anand, who also directed 2019's War, is influenced by Subhash Ghai and his cinema. My colleague Vishal Chatkara spoke to Siddharth about the film that changed his life, and he picked an 80s hit that we all love. If I'm talking about one film, I would talk about a filmmaker and his film. Uh, it would be Subhash Ghai, who changed my my desires actually of what I wanted to do in life. And the first film that did that for me was Meri Jung. The music of it, the characters of it, the story of it, all that stayed with me for a very very long time. Uh, I watched it. I think the day it released <laughs> on uh, VCR on the first day of its release, and I remember being fascinated by it. um i mean now that i think of it i was too young that time uh, and to be fascinated with a film like that it somehow seeded the fact that i understood the intricacies of drama and music back then so i think it was a natural transition for me to actually then become a filmmaker not a ca i think uh, i have a lot of strong family values uh, in my in my system and that also spoke of that uh, and uh, traditionally uh, subhash ghai's families were about that whether it's ram lakhan or uh, or even meri jung and the mother element was uh, a very very strong uh, uh, factor in all his films which also has been in my life um, has been because uh, i think i think it's 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 mythological and it's entrenched in our in our system uh, 
um, and that's what uh, Subhash Gai depicted even in even in uh, Mary Jung, and how the mother raised him and how uh, she instilled values in 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 the children, and that's what I think I replicated a bit even in Tara Rampam uh, with Saif and uh, Rani and with their kids. Uh, the piano scene where uh, the piano gets uh, auctioned and it's being put in the truck uh, and they, he sees his mother playing that piano and now it's being auctioned. I had an auction sequence even in Tara uh, So all these things really stayed with me and subconsciously I've used them in my films. But I love Javed Jafri's character. I think it was very new. Uh, he sang a, 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 a hit song. So it was very new to have a villain sing a song and dance. I think that was something very, very cool. The favorite scene is when he actually meets his mother in the in the uh, the asylum. Uh, that's insane. I think the way the way it was crafted and the music that plays over there, the trolleys. I think it's stuff of <laughs> legendary stuff. Yeah. You know, the use of uh, trolleys um, is uh, has been a trademark of Mr. Raj Kapoor also, and then Mr. Subhash Gai. The starting point of the trolley uh, is what I've learned from these filmmakers. Uh, you can just, when, when an actor is talking, you can keep tracking in and tracking left to right, but you can have a static shot and when the, the character says something or reacts to something is when the trolley starts. That's what I've learned and uh, that is something which is ingrained in me and uh, that is something which only a commercial filmmaker will understand what I'm trying to say. My favorite song is obviously Zindagi Har, har, har Kadam Vik Nahi Jang Hai and the various iterations of that, uh, it's fantastic whenever it comes. Uh, when he when he steps into the house uh, in, in in the bungalow, or or when he is uh, when his parents are playing it, uh, or when uh, uh, the melody comes when Nutan is running and uh, uh, he's hung, uh, and the birds just fly. Uh, I think it's great cinema. Yeah. I definitely want to revisit or remake something that he's made uh, that would be an ode uh, to him and uh, to my journey. And um, fingers crossed, hopefully I will do it soon. Ah, the heights by great men reached and kept were not attained by a sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, were toiling upwards in the night. Back in 95, in my room in Meerut Cantonment was a poster where I had written this. Every person who achieves something big is driven by Stockdale Paradox. Do you know what it is? Mm, time khatm. I will tell you of this super secret to success and survival, but next week. I'm Atika Faruqi saying goodbye and see you again.